Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this updated video this evening. I trust and hope that you're doing really great and I want to thank you guys so much for all your very kind messages in my previous update. I really appreciate them, the suggestions, they mean a lot to me so thank you so much. I'm not feeling much better compared to this morning but I'm fine enough to do an update and let you guys in on what is happening across the tropics and so there are three active tropical cyclones and three disturbances that we want to pay attention to in this update and so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important video. Alright, so let us go ahead and get things kick started with the satellite imagery. Here we can see that there is quite a bit of activity going on across parts of the Atlantic. Looking well off the east coast of the US, there's a cluster of four systems in just that area alone. And then we've got Invest 94L off the coast of Africa, given a higher chance to develop during the next seven days. And uh, more tropical waves will be moving off the coast of Africa and we have a new area which is highlighted for possible development. So let us go ahead and take a look at what the National Hurricane Center has to show this evening. Here we have our systems. We have Tropical Storm Idalia. There is Franklin uh, to the northeast of Bermuda. There is Tropical Storm Jose, that disturbance which is associated with the remnants of GERT, that new area that is highlighted in the main development region, and then Invest 94L. So uh, as I said, it has a higher chance to develop. That, uh, that chance is now up to 80%. It is likely that by tomorrow or Saturday, we will have a Tropical Depression forming and possibly our next name storm, Katia. So that is the next name to be used for this hurricane season. Let us go ahead and take a look at the other disturbances out there, the other systems. We're starting out with Idalia, and here we can see so that tropical storm force wind feel is quite extensive. There is still a tropical storm warning in effect for the coast of North Carolina, but that should be discontinued soon because uh, Idalia is quickly moving away from the states. And so it is approaching post tropical cyclone status. It is not looking too good on satellite. We'll go onto the satellite imagery very shortly, but it should become post tropical, but eventually regain tropical tropical characteristics and is not expected to re-intensify into a hurricane but as we're going to be heading into Sunday this could make a very close approach to the island of Bermuda and induce tropical storm conditions and so uh, eventually a tropical storm watch could be issued for the nation so if you're there please stay up to date with what is happening of course I'm here to keep you guys posted let's go ahead and take a look at our other systems there we have Franklin so Franklin is sustaining itself as a cat to hurricane moving to the east northeast at 14 miles per hour and it will continue to uh, gradually weaken and eventually dissipate as it traverses cooler waters while increasing in latitude and in the vicinity of franklin we have jose which isn't expected to do anything much it should be absorbed by franklin very soon and then there are the remnants of gert 30 percent chance that we might see redevelopment and it really has a day or so before conditions get uh, unfavorable for us to see anything become of it now in the main development region there we have that area highlighted so a tropical wave is going to be making its way through and uh, eventually a low pressure area could develop which we could see further intensify into a tropical cyclone and so we'll be looking at that in a bit more detail very shortly but we're going on to the satellite imagery uh, here we have it so there we have our three uh, or four systems in the area or three active tropical cyclones and the remnants of GERD and as we switch to the visible satellite imagery we can definitely see the rotation with these systems a lot better there we have it and so let's move into the vicinity of the Caribbean and here we can see that for parts of northern South America there is some thunderstorm activity popping up there is that uh, concentrated area of showers and thunderstorms over in parts of Panama Costa Rica and the eastern Pacific there's a tropical wave which is approaching the Caribbean with some scattered showers is what we're seeing so that might bring periods of intermittent showers to parts of the Windward Islands. Some thunderstorms were near Trinidad earlier. ABC Islands remain pretty hot and as we head uh, further up north here we can see that there isn't a whole lot happening but there is some thunderstorm activity developing across some areas this afternoon. Parts of Puerto Rico, uh, Hispaniola, Cuba, Jamaica, even near the Cayman Islands and over into other parts of Central America and up into Florida and parts of the northern Bahamas as well. Now, as we head back to the potential system that we could see develop off the coast of Africa, models have been pretty consistent about seeing something. But one of the big questions is, 
will it be a threat to land is it going to enter the caribbean will it make its way up to the bahamas the u.s that is uh, pretty much unknown at this point because we're talking about something over a week from now and with that there are bound to be changes with model forecasts and expectations but uh, for now it seems pretty likely that we will have development it is just the track and the exact intensity that are unknown at this point but of course with a conducive environment then we will definitely see uh, some intensification take place and then in terms of the potential track once that subtropical high reinforces itself across the north central atlantic then we would have a more westward track being influenced for these tropical waves as they may develop and make their way toward the west but once there is a weakened spot that they can go through then we will see them moving up to the north uh the northwest and so uh, as i said that is pretty much unknown at this point in time but many models have been suggesting that this is not going to be entering the caribbean let's go on to the ensemble tracks so we are kickstarting things with the euro members and this is the cluster we're focusing on we've got some other members for or other systems for example 94l uh, that is expected to develop maybe not become anything of great uh, significance out there but it is uh, likely to develop but uh, as i said this is the cluster we're focusing on and most of these members don't show this system enter the caribbean and this goes out to sunday the uh, 10th of the month so this is some time out from now over a week from now and will this make its way up to the u.s will it continue through the bahamas will it move into the caribbean as i said that is unknown going on to the gfs ensemble members descent consensus on something developing but again that track varies the intensity varies as well so uh there is some time to track and eventually see what is going to be happening and that is why i'm here to keep you guys posted on all that is going on but those very warm sea surface temperatures will be feeling development as long as other environmental conditions are conducive to allow for that to happen such as those upper level winds and a moist environment so not a lot of dry air around to infiltrate these systems and try to uh, kind of stabilize them so uh, that is what we see happening guys and eventually once that wave moves off once that low pressure area develops and uh, it seems as though it is going to be getting itself together then the formation chance will continue to gradually increase but uh, we are in the active period right now september is the month to look out for the most activity so not only for these upcoming tropical systems but also a lot more as we head into the next several weeks and so uh, it is likely that we're going to be seeing so much going on out there uh, similar to what we saw happening at the latter part of this month at one point there were four active storms four of them that developed in under two days that was very much uh, alarming and could be telling us what is ahead in the heart of the hurricane season which is not far from now and so that is pretty much it for this update guys i hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments i'll respond to you once i get the chance to and as always remember to be with wise